gentlemen, and welcome back to Hobblecraft Season 2, Episode 6. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some very, very cool things. But, but oh no. Oh dear. Before we get into that, make sure to uh, subscribe and uh, leave a like if you guys enjoy this video. And also hit the bell and join the Discord if you guys want to be on the server. Now, I was trying to get the castle in the background for a reason. Do you guys see the land around me? You guys see the land around castle, right? It's pretty bland if you ask me. Um, so we're gonna be talking about what um me and Corbin have been doing off camera. And um and we're gonna go to the village that is about six hundred blocks that way. Oh hi little dolphin. Oopsies, sorry. Totally oh gosh, wait, did the dolphin just attack me? Oh, the dolphin attacked me. Ha. Ah. Come at me now, fishy. Alright, so... What did I get? I got caught from a dolphin. Alright, anyways, guys. We're gonna head to the village, and we... Also, we're gonna talk about, like I said, on the way there, what I've been doing off-camera with Corbin. So, as you guys see, I have diamond tools and enchanted tools and armor. Very insane. So, we this morning went mining for around about three hours we were mining. And coming back up and down, getting tools and stuff. We got a lot of very valuable stuff. So, I took some diamond pickaxes, collided them, and got this monster of a beast, the diamond pickaxe. It's enchanted with unbreaking one and efficiency two. Then I have an iron shovel within breaking one and efficiency one, sorry, diamond shovel. And then I have a power one on my bow. Then I also have a helmet, which I told Corbin that I got such a good enchant on it. I told him it had like five cool enchants, but it really only has just protection one. <laughs> so, but yeah, like I said, we're gonna be heading to the village. So let's make ourselves a bed uh, and let's head to the village because, um. Yeah, there is something I want to show you guys there that um, you guys might not um, know is there because you guys haven't seen it before. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Let's let's just make a bed and be on our way. Okay, ladies and gents, we are on our way to the village. I have I have the coordinates written down here on a piece of paper. So once we get to the right area, I will. Um... Yeah. It's gone, this is a village is a long ways away, so it will take a little while to get there. So let's, yeah, let's just start heading there. Like I said, it's very far away, so we're gonna have to go sailing here for a little while. There's the waterfall. There we go. I know where I am now. All right. Yeah, it's not too far, honestly, from the castle. It's only like 600 blocks, which isn't that far if you th really think about it, but oh, then again. It's decently far. Right up here, we're going to have to dock the boat and uh, walk the other 200 blocks. But it's not as far as you guys would think it is. So, uh, let's uh, dock our boat here. It would suck if I died right here because I have, like, all my diamonds and enchanted armor on me. So, I really don't want to die. I also keep an iron pickaxe on me. Just in case, you know, you know, I need one just at any time, you know, if I need one. I don't feel like using my wasting my diamond pickaxe. I always have an iron one just in case. So let's head up here, ah, uh, through these trees, then take this direction, and there it is. There you can see the um those in the distance. One of the people on our Discord is building his house out here. Here's the village coming into view. Uh, yeah, he's building his house out here, so. Um, he was the dude we did the Fortnite live stream with. Yeah, so he's building his house out here. Here is his under construction house, I guess. It's um, it's a it's, it's a dump site. Let's be honest, but but within time it'll be a pretty good base. Uh, at least I think. This is his mine with dirt. This is the mine. 
is a terrible mine, my guy. Why is there wood down here? I just noticed this, ladies and gents. There is wood down here. All right, let's investigate what this wood is. Oh, it's an underwater cave. Okay. Okay. That's what it is then. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why he'd block that off. Hawk on. Maybe there was like water flowing into his base and he just wanted to block off all the water. All right. Well, he can re-block that off because I'm not fixing it. I'm just that nice of a guy, you know. I don't fix my things that I break. <laughs> all right. Now... The real thing we're here after is the village. So let's head to the village and, um, there's his bed. What does he have in his chest? Yeah, lol, I stole all his stuff, <laughs> except the garbage. So he's going to be mad when he logs back on and just realizes all his stuff is gone. Like his six furnaces, like his freaking like, oh man, he is going to be not happy. It's going to be in not happy of moods. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be either. I would be mad if someone stole all my stuff, but it is funny to do it to other people. <laughs> all right, so actually, this stuff right here is the stuff I was talking about. This stuff is actually pretty valuable. Ah, uh, the mossy cobblestone. So we could do a troll and Corbin. Tell him we found a, um, com uh, what, you, what do you call it? A uh, mob spawner. That could be a prank that we do on him at some point. Uh, it is getting to be nighttime. I realized I could have used one of their beds, but I think he took most of the beds. So I don't want to be looking for a bed. So we're just gonna uh, place our. Okay, I think it's. I think we can sleep because the villagers are sleeping. No, okay. But yeah, let's grab this. Uh, I'm thinking about guys in the either in the next episode or episode eight building a um. A villager farm like in the base or just like outside just outside of it so like where we have the um oh uh, what you call it? like yeah like an automatic farm that the villagers do then we have like hoppers under everything and going into chests and whatnot so um that could be pretty good so what we're just gonna do is pillage this village that rhymes we're gonna pillage this village lol um but but yeah, we're going to pillage the village and um, try to get as much resources out of it as we possibly can. And then uh, what we're going to do, I will take the torches. Uh, what Then what we're going to do is that we're going to head back and get into the main part of this episode, which is a pretty good idea for an episode that I have. Um, oh, duh. 36 emeralds for a bell. My guy. That's not a bad trade, though. Coal for an emerald. I don't have coal on me. I'm sorry, I do not have coal. Is there some hiding under? I will take these carpets. You know what you get, sir? Uh, oh, he said, hmm, when I said. You know what you get? Death. Death shall be upon you for terrible trades. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I love pranking this guy. It it makes me feel joy inside. But um also, did he just put a villager in here? I hope he realizes mobs can spawn okay. I was gonna say. But yeah, so the main part of this episode of what we're doing this episode. What we're doing this episode is I'm gonna do some mining sessions, alright, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm building a mob grinder this episode, all right? So I'm going to build literally a mob grinder somewhere out in the open around spawn. And so we can get XP. And so um, I can get um, some XP so I can enchant stuff. Because what we're also going to be doing is trying to get a full set of diamond armor. Now, iron is probably what we're gonna get and i will be fine with iron armor but i would prefer diamonds so if we get diamonds that would be great so here's a cool cave so i can see there's some light down here so i think he might have explored a little bit of it so i'm gonna head down here 
just for a little bit guys i already see some iron we're gonna try to get some iron maybe even some diamonds and try to get some um resources because this is one of the reasons i wanted to come out here as well is because this cave he was telling me about sending me pictures on discord so he wanted to explore it with me and i wanted to explore it with him but work just got too busy with the spreadsheets and stuff for youtube that i didn't have time so he definitely missed stuff if he came down to explore it i thought that was diamonds that actually dude look at that giant all right so uh i'll catch you guys back here i'm gonna take Round about an hour for a mining session, and I will see you guys back here in about an hour. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm just on the way back from the mine area, okay? And I'm just heading back to the base to go use our mine, because that one has way too many mobs, and it's too easy to get lost in there, and I almost died. So, but I, someone hopped in the boat. I have a little visitor. Look how cute she is. She just sat up. Good. I'm naming her Trixie. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten the cobblestone. Hopefully, um, you know, eight stacks of it is enough. So, what we are going to do is, um, we're going to start work. Got to find a spot to build it. I'm thinking, okay, alright, I, I'm thinking, guys, we build it right up here. We can waste a piece. You know, one. Imagine we're one piece short. So I've called Corbin. Hold on. My thing's going off. My pager's going off. So as you can see, uh, Corbin just joined. I have asked him to give me a water bucket. So he is. There he is. I'm over here. I'm over here. Give me the water bucket. All right. Talk right. He's gonna probably start calling in a second. All right, so I'm going to be building it right up, about up here. So we're going to clear out this land. So we'll just clear out this little area. This is all we'll need right here. It's just this little area here to build it. So, All right, so we're going to build it right here. And... Give me the bucket. Corin, give me the bucket. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Come on back up, Corbin. Hello. All right. As I was saying, before Corbin came along. Yeah, I asked him to give me a bucket because I need a bucket to do the water mechanism of the tower. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna build the tower up. We're gonna destroy these leaves. We're gonna build it, build it up 10 blocks. 10, yeah, we're gonna try it. Yeah, 10 blocks high. Uh, and it'll be a uh, five by five, three in the middle. So let's go up right here. Let's build the base. So. So we're gonna have one, two, all right, hold up. Two, three, four, five, all right. All right, so I'm gonna build it up. Um, one, two, three, four, five, all right. So I'm gonna build it up and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys back once I have it up to the height that we need, then I'll show you guys how we're going to be spreading off the wings of it in all, like, different directions. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I have been up here working now around about uh, 30 minutes now on this. So this is where, th so we're going to have water, right, all along here, and here, and here, and here, and it's going to push the mobs down the hole. They're going to fall, they're going to lose health, unless they're a spider, then they can just climb up. Spiders don't really count, but everything else will fall down. And then we're going to have um, the bottom block open, and even then they can still see you because you're going to be under a block. So we're going to put a slab so they can't see you, so you can just whip out your sword and start hacking them. So right now, what we do with, like how we build this, it's honestly pretty easy design. Um, So, you know, you build it up 10 blocks, you build everything out, um, make sure these ones on the bottom, these ones are 7 
but these you want them go out eight so you can build the walls it has to be seven blocks there is no debate it has to be seven blocks and then you build it up three so you can add the roof and that and yeah that's pretty much it. it's pretty easy other than that just gonna place torch down so nothing spawns while I'm up here. Cause that wouldn't be really good if you know some spawned while I was up here working. That would not be good at all. So I think I'm getting shot at by skeletons. I think I heard a bow somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. But oh, copper. I get that. But yeah, um, it's pretty simple design. Uh, but anyways, how much cobblestone do I have left? I have a stack left. I hope I have enough. Now, I don't need to do, do, yeah, I just need to do the roofs in the middles and make sure there's torches in there so I don't get blown up by creepers while I'm working. But, um, this, this is good. This is going to be a big, uh, like, um, build. Like, the first big build of the server, besides our, like, castle over there, is the first major build, I should say. Sun is coming out. It is becoming daytime, which is good. But dumb mobs will not die because it's raining. Okay, can't Minecraft rain some other time. Anyways, guys, so now what we're going to do, we're going to fill in the roof, which I will need more cobblestone. So I will get you, catch you guys back here in a minute. Once I am done with the roof, I might have to go back down mining for a little bit to get some cobble. So I'll catch you guys back here in a minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, my camera was glitching out and I lost the recording of me showing you guys me finishing this up. But here is the finished project of the mob spawners. So, mobs spawn up in these big things. They spawn, and as you see dripping water, water pushes them down, and they fall down. Some of them ride down in water, some of them just fall down this bits. I miscalculated it, but I'm not rebuilding the whole thing. It'll work this way too. They fall down, and when one of them falls, you swipe your sword at them where they can't see you, and you kill them, and you get their loot. So that is basically how this works. Um, I'm going to be using it over the next while. Um, the first part of it was achieved. I already have an enchanted iron helmet, but I have some more iron gear. So we're going to be using this over the next couple hours or so. Just going AFK right here, waiting for mobs to spawn. Hopefully Creeper doesn't blow up the whole thing. But, um, yeah, we're going to be just going AFK here, waiting for stuff to spawn and fall down. And then we will be getting XP. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of Hobblecraft. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash the like button. Also, if you're new around here, subscribe and hit the bell so you guys don't miss another video. And next episode, episode 7, you guys will be seeing me in Enchanted Iron Armor. Or maybe even diamonds. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. And also head over to the merch store for some merch.